good morning student <coughs> we are going to start the new lesson after the summer vacation uh, lesson number 3 which is about multiplication and division okay student we already uh, revised the or recapped the lesson number 1 and 2 which was uh, which were done before the summer vacation now after the summer vacation we will start the uh, new lesson that is about multiplication and division okay student that is lesson number three before starting the exercise of multiplication we will learn some important rules regarding the multiplication there are four rule five rules written here you will write it in your classwork copy and you must learn all these rules okay student the first rule is the product of two numbers does not change when the order of the numbers is changed that means when the product of two numbers example look at the example here are two numbers 15 and 12 this product of these two numbers that is 15 and 12 is equal to 12 into 15 that is notice it carefully the order of the numbers are changed 12 was in second position but in this case 12 is in first position 15 was in first position in this case the 15 is in second position but one thing to be remembered the product of this 15 into 20 that is 15 multiplied by 12 15 multiplied by 12 is equal to 12 multiplied by 15 that is why this rule is written learn it carefully the second rule is the product of three numbers three numbers does not change when the grouping of numbers is changed here are the grouping of three numbers number one as per example 15 multiplied by 8 18 within the bracket and outside the bracket there is uh, it is multiplied by 10 that means after multiply multiplying the 15 with 8 again we have to multiply the product with 10 this result will be the same if the grouping is different that is 15 is outside the in this case 15 is outside the bracket and 10 is included with 18 within the bracket this result and this result is equal are equal sorry are equal again if 15 is regrouping with 10 and 18 is in the outside of the bracket that means this result this result this result all these results are equal that is all the products will be equal that is why this rules is written three numbers does not change when the grouping of these numbers is changed okay up agi piche kuch bhi kar sakta hai lekin but product of this that is the result of multiplication will be the same okay now come to third number rules the product of a number and one is the number itself what is the meaning of this statement the if you multiply 819 by one the result will be the number itself that is 819 okay student second ex in your second example you see that this number is 30 lakhs 19815 multiplied by one this is equal to lakhs 19,815. Okay, that means you have multiplied 3 lakhs 19,815 by 1. But the product or result is the number itself. That is the number itself means the result is 3 lakhs 19,815. Okay, student, that means if you multiply any number by one the result will be the number itself that is if you uh, multiply 12 by one the result will be 12 if you multiply 15 by one 
the result will be 15 etc okay student now the fourth point is the product of a number and the zero is zero if you multiply any number any number with zero the result will be zero here are the two examples given 18 multiplied by 0 equal to 0 multiplied by 18 all these results or all these products will be equal to 0 that means any number when is when multiplied by 0 that product will be 0 similarly in the second case for if you multiply 403 multiplied by 0 then 0 into 403 all these products two products will be the equal that will be the zero okay that means if you multiply any number you can write the product as zero okay this is the last rules when a number is to be multiplied by 10 100 or 1000 etc then just multiply the number by one then put the number of zeros by the side of the product which have by the side of one suppose you have to multiply 519 by 100 you it may be appeared that there is this is very difficult no you first multiply 519 by one only the result obviously that um, number itself so that is you have to write 519 first then how many zeros are there two zeros you have to put two zeros okay student if you multiply it by 1000 then just multiply 519 by 1 the result product will be 519 first time and for the g thousand there are three zeros you have to put three zeros and etc okay that is 1000 10000 1 lakh kuch bhi ab multiply kar sakta but you have to first time multiply it the multiply the number by one the product will be number itself then put the number of zeros by the which have by the side of one okay so this is the example of multiplication of a number by 10, 100, 1000, etc. Okay. Now, your homework will be write all the rules in your copy and learn it carefully. Okay, student. Thank you.